Twitter is one of the most popular social media platforms in Turkey, with millions of users who rely on it for news, information and communication. However, Twitter has also faced increasing pressure from the Turkish authorities to censor some content that is deemed illegal or harmful by the government. In this section, we will explore how Twitter has blocked access to some content in Turkey ahead of the elections to comply with court orders and to ensure its continued operation in the country. One of the main reasons why Twitter has restricted some content in Turkey is because of a new law that was passed by the Turkish parliament in October 2022. The law aims to crack down on disinformation and requires social media companies to remove content and provide proprietary information to the authorities if requested to do so. The law also imposes fines and bandwidth reductions for companies that do not comply with the requests. Twitter, along with other platforms like Facebook and YouTube, has been subject to several requests from the Turkish government to remove content related to terrorism, defamation, national security and public order. Another reason why Twitter has blocked some content in Turkey is because of the political situation in the country ahead of the presidential and parliamentary elections on May 14, 2023. The elections are seen as a crucial test for President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, who has been in power for 20 years and faces a strong challenge from Kemal Kılıçdaroğlu, the leader of the main opposition party. The elections are also taking place amid a humanitarian crisis caused by a devastating earthquake that hit Turkey in February 2023, killing over 50,000 people and displacing millions more. Many people have turned to Twitter to express their opinions, criticisms and grievances about the government's response to the earthquake and its policies in general. However, some of these tweets have been blocked by Twitter in response to legal process from the Turkish authorities who have accused some users of spreading false or provocative information. Twitter has said that it has taken action to restrict access to some content in Turkey in order to ensure that its platform remains available to the people of Turkey. The company has also said that it has informed the account holders of this action in line with its policy and that the content will remain available in the rest of the world. However, some human rights groups and activists have criticized Twitter for complying with the Turkish government's requests and have urged the company to be more transparent about how it moderates content in Turkey. They have also called on Twitter and other social media platforms to resist censorship and protect freedom of expression and access to information in Turkey. In conclusion, Twitter has blocked access to some content in Turkey ahead of the elections to comply with court orders and to ensure its continued operation in the country. The content restrictions are mainly related to a new law that gives the Turkish authorities more power over social media companies and to the political situation in the country that is tense and polarized. Twitter has said that it has taken this action to protect its users and its service in Turkey but some critics have questioned its decision and its impact on democracy and human rights in Turkey. Twitter is one of the most popular social media platforms in Turkey, with millions of users who rely on it for news, information, and expression. However, Twitter has also faced increasing restrictions and censorship from the Turkish authorities, especially during times of political and social unrest. In this section, we will explore how Twitter's content restrictions affect the public's ability to follow the work of independent election monitors and reporting around the vote count, as well as to express their opinions and grievances. One of the main challenges that Twitter faces in Turkey is the social media regulations law, which was passed in July 2020 and came into effect in October 2020. This law requires social media companies with more than 1 million daily users in Turkey to appoint a local representative who can respond to government requests for content removal or user data within 48 hours. If they fail to do so, they face penalties such as advertising bans, bandwidth reductions, and fines. The law also obliges social media companies to store user data in Turkey, which raises concerns about privacy and surveillance. According to Freedom House, Twitter was one of the few platforms that did not comply with the law and did not appoint a local representative in Turkey. As a result, Twitter faced an advertising ban in January 2021, which reduced its revenue and reach in the country. In addition, Twitter received thousands of content removal requests from Turkish authorities, 
mostly targeting independent and critical media outlets, journalists, activists, and opposition politicians. According to Twitter's Transparency Report, Turkey was the top country in terms of legal demands for content removal in the second half of 2020, accounting for 31% of the global total. These content restrictions have a significant impact on the public's ability to follow the work of independent election monitors and reporting around the vote count, as well as to express their opinions and grievances. For example, during the local elections in March 2019, which were marred by allegations of fraud and irregularities, Twitter was one of the main sources of information and communication for voters and observers. Many users shared photos and videos of ballot boxes, voting procedures, and election results on Twitter, while independent monitors used hashtags such as hashtag Sandikuslemsisai, ballot box observer, and hashtag OIVOTC, vote and beyond, to coordinate their efforts and report any violations. However, after the elections, several users who tweeted about the vote count faced criminal investigations and charges for allegedly spreading false or misleading information. Another example is the aftermath of the earthquakes that hit Turkey in October 2020 and February 2021, which caused widespread damage and casualties. Twitter was one of the platforms that people used to share updates, request help, offer support, and criticize the government's response. However, according to Netblocks, a group that monitors internet access around the world, Twitter service in Turkey was limited on several occasions during these crises, making it harder for users to access or post content. Neither the government nor the affected companies made statements regarding the blocks. These examples show how Twitter's content restrictions limit the public's access to information and expression in Turkey, especially during critical moments that affect their lives and rights. By complying with the social media regulations law or facing its consequences, Twitter risks losing its independence and credibility as a platform that enables free speech and democracy in Turkey. Twitter is one of the most popular social media platforms in Turkey, with millions of users who rely on it for news, information and expression. However, Twitter has also faced repeated threats and restrictions from the Turkish government, especially under President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, who has a history of cracking down on dissent and opposition voices. Twitter restrictions are part of a broader pattern of internet censorship and media repression in Turkey under Erdogan, who has previously threatened to shut down Twitter and other social media platforms. In this section, we will explore some of the reasons and methods behind these restrictions, and how they affect Turkish democracy and human rights. One of the main reasons why Erdogan targets Twitter is because he sees it as a platform for his political rivals and critics, who use it to expose corruption, human rights violations and authoritarian policies. Erdogan has faced several scandals and challenges that have been amplified by Twitter, such as the 2013 Gezi Park protests, the 2016 coup attempt, the 2018 currency crisis and the 2023 earthquake disaster. To silence these voices, Erdogan has resorted to various legal and technical measures to block or limit access to Twitter in Turkey. For example, in 2014, he banned Twitter for two weeks after leaked recordings implicated him in a corruption case. In 2020, he passed a new law that required social media companies to appoint local representatives and comply with court orders to remove content or face fines and bandwidth reductions. In 2023, he restricted access to Twitter and other social media following the country's devastating earthquake that killed nearly 50,000 people. These restrictions have serious implications for Turkish democracy and human rights, as they undermine freedom of expression, access to information and public accountability. Twitter users in Turkey have often defied these restrictions by using VPNs or other circumvention tools, but they still face risks of prosecution or harassment for their online activities. Moreover, these restrictions create a chilling effect on online discourse, as many users self-censor or avoid controversial topics for fear of reprisals. Twitter is not the only platform that Erdogan has targeted. He has also blocked or restricted access to YouTube, Wikipedia, Facebook and Instagram at various times for different reasons. 
He has also tightened his grip on traditional media outlets, by shutting down or taking over critical newspapers, TV channels and radio stations. According to Reporters Without Borders, Turkey ranks 154th out of 180 countries in the 2023 World Press Freedom Index. In conclusion, Twitter restrictions are part of a broader pattern of internet censorship and media repression in Turkey under Erdogan, who has shown little tolerance for dissent or criticism. These restrictions violate the rights of Turkish citizens to express themselves freely and access diverse sources of information. They also weaken the democratic checks and balances that are essential for a healthy and vibrant society.